Hey, what's going on? My name is Captain Eric with Flow Bass Fishing Charters down here in Southeast Florida. Today we're going to be working on my ActionCraft 1820 Flats Master and I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy button strap for your boat. You know, we have them all over our boats. Mine in particular is used to hold the seat back down and also the cushion so it doesn't come flying up when you're trailering it. There's a multitude of uses that you can use these straps for when you want to retain something. So I'm going to show you how to make them, what parts you need to get, and most importantly, they are super cheap and anybody can do it at home. So let's get to it. So the previous owner of my boat misplaced the seat straps, so I went out and I ordered new ones from ActionCraft themselves. So they came in and it turns out that they were manufactured incorrectly. They were too long, there was too much play, and you could see the wind eventually lifted the seat back up and broke the straps that they had made for me. So what you'll need in order to complete this project is head over to your local marine store and purchase some length of nylon strapping. Then you'll also need some scissors, some type of lighter or butane torch, a tool that you can use to punch a hole through the nylon strap, You'll also need a button or snap repair kit, which you can also get at your local marine store. And make sure the kit that you purchase comes with the installation tool that's very important. And finally, you'll need a hammer. So the first thing you wanna do is determine how long you need your straps to be. Now, something to take note of is that the ends of your straps where you punch the button through, you're gonna to wanna to fold that over. What that does is when you punch the button through, that little folded over section basically has double the strength because that's the most critical part of your strap. So you're gonna to want to account for that extra bit on both ends. So now that I've determined the length that I need, I'm gonna take the strap that I cut and lay it over my extra piece of strap and cut a second strip since both the left and right sides are identical. Once you have your sections of the nylon strap cut, what you wanna do is take your flame source, whether it's a lighter or in my case, this ridiculous butane torch and just sear the ends. That's gonna singe off any little extra little hairs or frays or anything on the end and keep the strap from coming unraveled in the future. So here I'm prepping my workstation. Now I would normally do this on my workbench, but it's what I have to do in order to produce this video for you. So I have a spare piece of aluminum that I'm gonna use as my strike surface, and I just laid a towel down just to help protect the boat. And as I'm narrating this, after the fact, I can tell you everything was perfectly fine. After you've triple checked the length with your ends folded over, what you're gonna to wanna to do is first punch a little hole through your nylon strap because that's what you're gonna to have to do to get your button started through the strap before you can use the tool and punch it into place. The little extra hole just makes this process a lot easier for you. Now that we have the hole created, we're going to go ahead and place the female side of our button into the strap. Now essentially a female button is two pieces. There's a base that has a small shaft that comes up through the middle of the button and that shaft is actually what you mushroom out in order to hold the two pieces of the button together. So once the female button is in through both sections of the strap that you folded over, you're gonna place the base of your tool down on your strike surface, lay the female side of the button on top of that, and then your second piece that locks everything together, you're gonna hold that down and take the punch side of the tool and strike very hard with a nice large hammer. And basically you're gonna strike that until that small shaft that I told you about mushrooms out and both pieces of the button hold your strap together and doesn't come undone. It may take two or three strikes of your hammer in order to mushroom out that section of the button, but you don't have to use a ton of force. Precision is more important than actual brute force in this instance. So with my first button in place, I'm gonna go ahead and snap it and just give it a little test, make sure everything is a-okay, that it's not coming undone, which looks like it is. And now just to triple check or quadruple check, I'm gonna fold the end over and just make sure the length is still perfect and kind of take note of where the center of my button is on the boat and then I'll go ahead and use my tool to just punch through the center so I have a very accurate measurement. And then once you have your hole marked, it's basically just rinse and repeat. 
And here's an up close look at what the button looks like once you've properly punched it and mushroomed out that small brass center section. All right guys, super quick, super simple, very easy to do. Anyone can do that at home. Just get all the materials at your local marine store. It's gonna cost you under $20 and you can make straps to hold down, you know, anything. The seat back, like in my case with the Action Craft or, you know, maybe you have a stubborn hatch that you need to add a little hold down strap to, no problem. It comes with all the tools necessary. You can drill the straps right into the deck. Whatever you need to do, the sky is the limit. So I hope this video was helpful to any one of you out there with a boat that maybe could use an extra strap or two, or if you're in a situation like mine where you had some break, just make it yourself. You'll probably spend less money doing it this way than buying new straps from the manufacturer. So with that being said, got some weather blowing in. I got a little bit more work to do. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you bring those smiling faces. Till then, peace out.